hey there. Welcome to the Paw Paw Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, what I'm getting ready to do is, is to put these paw paws out here in the fruit garden. These are all grafted trees. Actually, they are grafted root suckers. These right here, incidentally, were root suckers that I have shared before with a group that I had dug up last year in May. I planted them into the root trapper bags last year and I brought them into the house uh, this year at the end of January, the middle of winter, to wake them up. And because of that, it's given the root system plenty of opportunity to grow within the bags. Now the bags work out great for the root suckers because they hold a lot of moisture. The root suckers like a lot of moisture. I cut a bag open yesterday and shared it with the uh, Paw Paw Chronicles Facebook group and uh, I was very very pleased with what I saw. These right here have been selected to go into my fruit garden. And I have various reasons as to why. The two here on my left are Jerry Lehman uh, varieties. One's called uh, Benny's Favorite and it was grafted on the 26th of March. This one right here is Jerry's Big Girl. It was grafted on the 28th of March of this year. This one right here is called an IXL. I was intrigued by the IXL because it's, uh, from what I've read and what I've looked at online and in a book, uh, it's the same cross as the NC1, but inverted. One is a cross between Davis and Overlease, and the other one is a cross between Overlease and Davis. So it's a different cross, but a same cross, genetically speaking. IXL. March 31st, 2023 was when the graph took place. This one on the end is a Neil Peterson variety called Wallbash. I had decided to graft Wallbash because I had read and I have talked with people and they have said that Wallbash was hard to graft. And I thought, you know what? Let's do the challenge. Let's see if I can get it to graft. And which, by the way, I've got a few of these that I have grafted that have taken. But these right here were grafted in the house from January to now, going into the second week of June. The root systems have been able to grow. And the one I took out of the, uh, the bag yesterday, I was very pleased to see what I saw with the structure of the root. And I suspect it's going to be the same with these. Now, the Jerry Lehman varieties I don't have inside the uh, fruit garden. That's the reason why I decided, okay, I'm going to integrate them into the fruit garden. I have a no number of uh, varieties out there, but I have no Lehman. This one right here, as I said, it intrigued me. It, it's a backward cross of the NC1. However, this one right here, I'm planting it out there in the fruit garden for a reason. I have another uh, Wallbash out there, and the one I have out there I bought at the uh, Paw Paw Festival last year, 2022. It was a grafted seedling. I'm going to plant this one right next to it to where I can monitor uh, personally and share personally the uh, difference between the two. One is a seedling grafted, the other, this one, is a root sucker grafted. We're going to take a look as time goes on, the growth rate between the two and productivity between the two. I tend to believe that the uh, root suckers outperform seedlings uh, when it comes to growth rate. And I also believe it'll be the same with... Uh, productivity as far as fruit. 
This, by the way, is already bigger than that seedling. That seedling was probably two years old when it was grafted. So, 2022, we're going to say 2020, uh, 2019. This root sucker, by the way, came up out of the ground from the uh, root system of the parent tree last year, 2022. And already, it's bigger than that. So, we'll see. I normally don't plant them next to each other like that, but I figured, you know what, there's enough different cultivars out there I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Besides that, on one side, this will have the over, uh, the uh, wall bash planted next to it. And on the other side, this IXL will be planted next to it. I've been trying to harden these off since, oh, about the end of March, beginning of April, or uh, I'm sorry, the end of April, beginning of May. And they finally gotten to the point where they've hardened off a little bit. You have to get them hardened off before you stick them outside. But I'm still going to put shade cloth around them regardless uh, whenever I plant them out there for this year. Next year, I will remove the shade cloth and allow them to grow and wake up naturally. Anyways, it's just something that I wanted to share with you. When you're hardening off these trees... Uh, at first, the, the leaves are almost paper thin and they droop and you got to be really careful because you can scorch them and burn them. But this has been done through a gradual process and the leaves have gotten pretty firm and they'll be okay as long as they're under shade cloth. Pawpaws, amazing little trees to work with, as well as root suckers if you're successful at digging them up and uh, harvesting and utilizing them within your orchard. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for any notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.